Well, talk about being in a foul booty. Get it. A big ratings agency apparently greasing the financial skids for what could be an imminent downgrade on several states' credit ratings. Here's what Moody's is doing, factoring in states' pension shortfalls into their rating report card. And by that math, more than half are already looking at lousy grades. And in the case of California, likely failing ones at that. To the congressman who is worried enough about the issue that he's holding hearings next month on legislation that would possibly allow states to file for bankruptcy, he's North Carolina Republican Patrick McHenry, and he chairs the House Oversight Bailout Subcommittee. Everyone watches this guy. Chairman, um, very good to have you. Thanks for coming. Hey, thank you for having me on, Neil. You know, I always I saw that ratings news where they factor this in. I'm already thinking, like, that's not good for states. Because as soon as you start making it clear, you're looking at pensions. It's never looked good. And even the best of states, I know where that's well, going. Well, yeah, and I think the American people and the taxpayers and even those people that are in these pension plans have a right to know whether or not they're adequately funded or what the level of unfunded liability we have. But isn't so it fair to say, I, Congressman, a lot, we know most of the ones that are really in trouble, like California and uh, New Jersey and New York, um, say, well, the various governors there uh, trying to fix this, hack it down to size. That that's the problem. That's the essence of their deficits, their long-term debt, their whole morass, right? Well, it's true, but we don't know the magnitude of the problem. And moreover, the assumptions that these pension plans are making uh, are really pretty rosy. I mean, uh, it, they're assuming 8% return uh, over the next uh, right. uh, few generations. So it's actually uh, worse, than the, the, it's worse than we know. That's right. I mean, under current formulas and under their current disclosures, we see $3 trillion of unfunded liability. And I don't think that's even adequate, uh, an adequate understanding of what it is. So we want to first understand the magnitude of the problem, see if the states have the capacity and the wherewithal currently under current law uh, to fix this problem, and uh, what we have to do going forward if they don't have the All capacity right. to fix well, this problem. Well, let me ask you, maybe it'll go to your new title and your big wig now. Chairman, um, a, lo a lot of union guys knew that you would be on the show. They watched my show, too, and they said, ask the chairman if this idea about kicking around bankruptcy for states or allowing them to do it is about killing unions. What do you say to that? Huh. It's an interesting question, but I think union members, uh, firefighters, teachers, I think they have a right to know whether or not their pensions are going to be there for them when they retire. I think that they have uh, a real uh, opportunity here. The unions, uh, the states, uh, taxpayers have, have a real opportunity here to find out the facts. Yeah, but, but this let's, thing, look, I, here's what they're asking. I want to be clear. Sure. They're saying, you know, in bankruptcy, you know, I'm no lawyer, Congressman, but I do watch L.A. Law and some of these other shows, Law and Order, so I think <laughs> I'm up to speed. But I, I'm telling you, what they fear is that when you file for bankruptcy, all contracts become null and void. So... It's a Republican effort, they say, to, to stick it to public workers' unions, public workers themselves, have them renegotiate contracts at pennies on the dollar, um, and they're going to be screwed. Uh, and I'll tell you this, and, and I'll be very forthright with you about this. I'm having hearings to actually find answers, first to understand the problem, and then find answers. I'm not going into these hearings with any preconceived notion. Uh, the only preconceived notion I've got is that we're not going to offer the states bailouts. Uh, the but are you open have an to, for, are you still open to bankruptcy, to allowing them to file for bankruptcy? Look, I, I haven't made a decision about bankruptcy. I know Newt Gingrich and Jeb Bush have, but I certainly haven't. I so you're know not, you're not sold on that? It's a good idea, but you're not sold on it? Uh, I don't even know that it's a good idea. I, I'm not okay. sold on it one way or the other, and I'm not willing to say it's a good idea or a bad idea. I think you launched we the trial actually... balloon. You know what I think, Chairman? I think you launched a trial balloon, and you wanted to see the reaction. Well, we'll see what the reaction is. I'd love to hear uh, from these unions as well as bondholders, uh, okay. pensioners, those that are paying into the pension uh, currently and those that are receiving it. I want to hear from everyone, pension. especially the credit rating agencies. And let's face it, Neil, we know that the credit rating agencies don't always get it right. Well, you're right. And you're so right. we want to know the facts and, and gotcha. let the American people decide. Chairman, always a pleasure having you. Now that you're a big deal, we're going to be following you a lot more. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Very good seeing you. Thanks. Good seeing you, Neil.